Okay, so uh, yesterday uh, actually went pretty well. Raise your hand if you got your assignment done yesterday, which is, uh, uh, you know, over half the class, so, so that, that's good. So applications to economics continued. Uh, this is what we did yesterday. Um, and yesterday we talked about cost. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, uh, profit, okay, and revenue. And so this is again from section uh, 4.9. And there's a uh, there, there's a couple things that I would like to uh, uh, relate for you a, an equation for, and one would be cost. Another one would be revenue. And the last one would be profit. So cost, revenue, profit. Yesterday we identified a cost function to simply be capital C of X, <coughs> what we are spending. What does revenue mean? money you bring in okay so if we're producing items and we're selling them at a certain price we will say that small p of x would be our price and our revenue depends on how many items we sell right so if we sell x items small p. So x, number of items, times the price for those items would generate our revenue, which we will call r of x, which is x times small p of x. And I just do that in order to really be able to write the profit function. How do you express profit? And we would hope that we have more revenue than we do cost, and if we do, then it was a good year. We ended up in the black. If we have less revenue than cost, then we're in the red, okay? So uh, if we were to express this <coughs> in terms of the functions, we would say R of X is equal to I'm sorry, R of X minus C of X equals capital P of X, profit. What do you think we would like to do? In calculus, we like to take derivatives. We like to maximize things. We like to minimize things. Yesterday, we minimized what? Cost. And we minimized cost by finding... Uh, where the average cost function was equal to the marginal cost function. Well, today we are going to try to do what, do you think? Maximize profit. In order to maximize, you need to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. Very good. Derivative of the profit function is equal to, if they're subtracting, do I have to use the quotient rule or product rule? Nope. I can just do R prime of X minus C prime of X. And we take that derivative and we set it equal to 0 equals R prime of X minus C prime of X. Yesterday we did a little trick by moving something over. What can you do? Add your C of X. C prime of X equal to R prime of X. When the derivative of the cost function is equal to the derivative of the revenue function, that is when our maximum profit occurs. That 
that will allow us to move uh, fairly quickly through a problem like we did yesterday. So, um, any questions how we got that? Pretty straightforward, right? You may not reduplicate it on your own, but um, if you had to, you sure could look back and I'm sure you could do it. So, um, all right, let's do an example. And then you guys will be ready uh, to go to work. Uh, example one says determine the production level that will maximize profit for a company. We want to maximize profit for a company. Given. Cost is equal to 84 plus 1.26x minus 0.01x squared plus 7 to 4 years. Four zeros there. That's my cost function. And my price function and my demand function is equal to 3.5 minus 0.01x. Okay, if I want to be able to maximize profit, um, what I need to do is I need to be able to find where R prime of X is equal to uh, C prime of X, correct? Well, I do have C of X, don't I? Okay, so we need to write down uh, a revenue function. We already have C, but let's write down a revenue function. So revenue, so R of X is equal to what? What did we define that to be? X times P of X. Revenue is the number of I items that we're producing times the price at which we're selling them. Yep. Uh, no, we don't know yet. We're going to decide how many we should produce in order to maximize our profit. Okay? So we'll define our revenue as X times P of X, which is equal to Okay? And it says, again, that max profit occurs where the derivative of the revenue, which is marginal revenue, is equal to the derivative of cost, which is the marginal cost. Remember yesterday when we took the derivative of cost, we came up with marginal cost. Derivative of the revenue is marginal revenue as well. Okay? So that's how much we're bringing in at that time. Okay? So uh, here's what I need to do. I need to take the derivative of both these things. Uh, let's take the derivative of the top one first. So I'll write this down just for clarity. We'll do C prime of X is equal to R prime of X. The point at which the marginal cost function is equal to the marginal revenue function. What is C prime of X? One, two, three, two, one, x squared, yeah? <laughs> Equals three point five minus zero point zero two x. Okay. So it, it looks kind of bad, but in fact we have a quadratic which we know we can solve using the quadratic formula, correct? So that's not that bad. So all I need to do is just gather terms on each side and then use go ahead and use my uh, 
use my quadratic formula. So I'll let, let's gather things over here. I looks like I have a point zero 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 two one x squared. So zero point one two three two one x squared, and then uh, <coughs> I'll add a point zero two x over and oh those cancel out, which is nice, just like happened yesterday. And then I'm going to subtract my 1.26 over equals 3.5 minus 1.26 would be 2.24. Yeah. Now what? Whoop, oh, three of them. Ten thousand six hundred sixty-six and two thirds, and then we need to take the square root of that, correct? Uh, one hundred and three point two eight. One hundred three point two eight. Or. and three units to produce. Okay. Any questions how I got that? Okay, then one more question I'd like you to answer is this. At what point does the marginal cost begin to increase okay so <coughs> here's what I'm talking about if you draw this 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 will help you kind of kind of see if we were to look at our cost function it's very possible that you may see something like this okay the cost of producing such items will look something like that okay and as you're following along here, you can see that if you're here, the cost to produ produce the next item is the derivative, okay? And the more you move up, the less that derivative becomes. And you can tell that the derivative is dropping. What do we call this point where the derivative starts to go up? The inflection point. So if they're saying, we want to look at where our marginal cost starts to go up again, that would be a bad point because that means we're overproducing if our cost, marginal cost is continuing to go up. So if you wanted to find where the marginal cost continues or er, starts to go up again, what would you do? What would you find? You said the inflection point. Where does that occur? The second derivative. So if you want to find where the marginal uh, cost begins to increase, find inflection. F double prime of x equals zero. Find where that happens. I've already done F prime of x. We've already taken the derivative of the cost function. We got 1.26 minus 0.02x plus 0.00021x squared. What do you get if you take the derivative of that? A point zero, zero two. I can't remember, I can't see it. Uh, plus three zeros. Oh, this one, just point zero two. So negative point zero two. Yep. And then if you drop the two down, you get point four two times x. Set that equal to zero. So I take my second derivative, I set it equal to zero. So 0 0.12342x is equal to 0.21, I'm sorry, 0 0.02. I go ahead and grab my calculator, 0 0.02 divided by 1, 
three, four, two, and I get forty seven point six two. So I do need to uh, I do need to spend or I do need to produce 103 units in order to in order to continue to uh, you know to maximize my profit. But something interesting happens at about the 47th, 48th product, uh, the cost uh, can, in for production uh, kind of goes up. So those are interesting points to come. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, so here's your assignment. It's on page 293, 294. And uh, you, know, you have 20 minutes, and you should, some of you will probably get it done. So I have a couple word problems in there that follow uh, very similarly to what we've done, okay?